Hey guys, Stefan Fuant here. We're at Nextworks 2018 here in Las Vegas, and I'm here with Said. Uh, how do you pronounce your last name? It's a very complicated. Uh, Said, uh, Said van de Klundert. Van de Klundert. Yes. Yeah. So then you're from the Netherlands, right? Yes. Okay. What part, what part in the Netherlands are you from? Uh, I'm from the south of the Netherlands, a place called uh, Te Heide in Ibreda. It's about a one hour drive uh, south of uh, Amsterdam. Okay. And I should announce that you are also a fellow Juniper ambassador, and that's kind of the reason why we're filming today, is I'm doing a series of interviews with fellow ambassadors just to try to get to know you guys a little bit more um you know i i'm fairly recent ambassador this is my second year and i'm just kind of sort of getting to know you guys and i've had a really good time uh hanging out with you guys here at the next works conference so it's been awesome man um great group what about so what kind of you're working at uh you're working at soft layer now right which is uh, yeah so part of few, ibm cloud uh, a few years ago ibm bought soft layer okay uh, Software had a, a worldwide uh, c a collection of uh, data centers from which they offered like bare metal services and uh, all sorts of uh, uh, VMware or, or, or whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, IBM Cloud uh, bought it or they rebranded it to uh, IBM Cloud and they're putting in uh, a lot of uh, investments to uh, scale out more and to, to build more data centers and to build more services on top of uh, our network. Very cool. And what's your role there? What are you doing? Uh, I'm in the network maintain team, so the uh, mostly the run side of things. Uh, I've just moved to that team and uh, a few a few weeks ago we had a, a kickoff uh, for uh, the uh, SaltStack project. So the next six months uh, is going to be uh, SaltStack, SaltStack, SaltStack. And you were in the hackathon, right? Uh, no, I missed oh. that. You missed that because they had some salt, yes, some salt, salt stack, unfortunately. salt stack minions, and all that kind of stuff in the uh, in the hackathon. Yeah, so, yeah unfortunately, I missed that. Would have been cool to uh, to join. Yeah, that. That's cool. So, how long have you been an ambassador for? Uh, I think about four years or something. Okay, and what's your experience been like? I mean, what what do you like about being an ambassador? Uh, uh, well, it's basically just a, a, a great bunch of people to know uh, and, and, and get to hang out with. Uh, so uh, that there are a few people that have uh, 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 made some great content, either in, in, in the blogosphere or uh, like wrote some very awesome books, like uh, David Roy, for example. Like he's the MX hero. He wrote Packet Walkthrough in MX. And right. He did the second edition of the uh, of the MX series book. Right. And uh, a, a lot of other people as well, and just to, to, to pick their brain and to, to have a chat with them on. On, on life in general and on, on what, what's on their mind and how, how do they look at things and uh, that's very cool. And you in fact actually recently wrote a book, uh, I think it was last year, yeah. the JNCIE DC cookbook um, as part of INET Zero's offerings, yeah. right? So INET Zero is a company that uh, uh, creates content to be able to, uh, to help people study for the uh, lab exams, uh, so we have the security service provider, uh, enterprise, and the DC uh, book. And uh, I wrote the, uh, the DC book uh, together with the owner of, uh, of INET Zero. And I can attest, because I took the JNCIE DC, that I used those materials. I think I actually asked you guys for a copy of it, you know, a couple of days before uh, I took my, you know, exam. Um, you know, and I went through those materials pretty quickly and they were very helpful in my, uh, you know, preparations for the exam. Now, you know, uh, my word of advice is don't wait until your, you know, exam is three days away to order those materials. You probably want to, you know, digest them because it was quite a big guide, uh, several uh, hundred pages, yeah, six, yeah, seven hundred yeah, pages. We almost touched a thousand, I think. That, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a lot of, uh, of, uh, of work to go through. But that was the JNCE exam is... Is a, is, a, is a lot of work. Yeah, that's a pretty hefty exam. Um, yeah, do you have any tips for anybody here that might be preparing other than, you know, get the JNCIE DC book, you know, in terms of how to study for the exam? Uh, yeah, so uh, so at first you do the JNCIE A, uh, CIS, and P, so that's all theory. Um, uh, uh, so uh, uh, the lab exam is really a lab exam. Right. Uh, so, um, uh, I would say spend like 80% of your preparation doing labs and uh, don't keep the labs simple but every time try to try to build something funny or strange or weird and, right. and see why it breaks, see if you can explain why it breaks and then just build it again and again and, and every time try to do something different, uh, swap out IISIS for OSPF, try to build a route reflector someplace else, try to yeah. use confederation and route reflection at the same time. Just basically testing all the various permutations and stuff. I'd say for me, 
Um, the probably the thing I spent the most time during those preparations, aside from studying the theory, I spent a tremendous amount of time just getting my lab up and running um, yes. to, to model that because a lot of these things you have to do virtually. Yeah. Um, and so you know, I did a lot. I did. I modeled all of my stuff inside VMware for the most part, and uh, just getting my lab up and running was probably fifty percent of the battle. You know? Yeah, you have to have. Um, so if you're doing the DC, if you if you're doing the SP, for example, or the uh, the security uh, 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 track, uh, you can uh, take an old version of the VMX or a VSRX, and you can uh, you, you don't need a really beefy server. Uh, but for the DC, the, 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 the yeah, it, it, it is a challenge. Um, yeah, you need to run uh, six or so uh, VMX, and uh, uh, those are really uh, uh, intense uh, right. CPU and RAM wise. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, you need, you need at least, you know, 70, 80, 90 gigs of memory in a yeah. server to really be able to do that. Probably. Yes, and yeah. a lot of CPU as well because the uh, PEC4 engine is, uh, it doesn't treat the CPU very well. That's yeah. It. <laughs> so, and that's, you've got your JNCI DC, what other, you've got the SP? Yeah, SP yeah, okay. and DC. Cool. And that was enough for me. So. That's it, huh? <laughs> yeah, I gotta hear you. Um, so that's cool. So what do you do, uh, you know, before we wrap up, you know, why don't you just tell the audience a little bit about what you like to do on your spare time. Like what does Saeed like to do for fun on the weekends? Um, well, when it's my weekend, uh, I, have a, I have a wife and kid. Right. So I really just enjoy uh, hanging out with them and go do stuff. My kid is now three, so he, 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 can, he can walk and talk. So uh, that's that awesome. makes it easy to, it's easy to do things. Uh, so that's great. Uh, I also like to. Uh, I, I'm not going to pursue a, a third uh, JNCE, but I've I've been uh, uh, dedicating a lot of time to to, to, to teach myself how to program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so a lot of Python and uh, and uh, reading about Python and doing a lot of okay. coding. Uh, that's cool. And I have some friends in uh, in Amsterdam. Uh, so when I have the time, I, uh, I go over there and just uh, walk around uh, the the canals and have a beer someplace. Sounds like a good place to have a beer. Yes, <laughs> uh, and that's great that you're learning some Python and that kind of stuff. I mean, I think we're all kind of making this transition right now into like the DevOps and how to really upskill ourselves so that we can remain relevant. In yeah, the it's just uh, it's it's uh, it's really um, uh, in part at first it was uh, like I saw the trend and I also wanted to update my skill set and and I wanted to remain uh, relevant. Uh, but uh, I've also come to learn that it's actually a lot of fun, like that same uh, CLI junkie uh, type of uh, thing that I had going on when I was studying for the GCIE. Uh, I get the same vibe or the same thing yeah, going yeah. on uh, after doing some, some Pythons for, for, for a few months. Uh, you can really start cranking out uh, scripts that do different things, uh, talking to the Juniper devices, to the XML API. Once you, once you understand that, you can basically just go in and do, and do anything. and then. Uh, it just becomes uh, a tremendous amount of fun. Cool. Well, that's great, man. I'm really excited to hear about all that. So before we wrap up here, why don't you just tell us uh, where people can follow you, maybe on social media. And I, I know it might be a little bit difficult for you to, uh, you know, you know, verbalize that because your, your last name is a little bit tricky. I'll make sure to put a link at the bottom of the uh, video here. But uh, where, where can we follow you? Uh, I'm uh, uh, on uh, uh, Twitter, I'd say from the Klunder. Uh, and I'm uh, on, uh, on LinkedIn, uh, uh, so uh, probably best to just check the link. Okay, yeah, I'll put the <laughs> link in there. Well, Saeed, it's been a pleasure hanging out with you yeah. and getting to know the rest of you, you know, the ambassador team, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys uh, next year at NextWorks 2019. Thank you.